So I went to start the passenger side rust repair and I thought it was just gonna be the rear fender in a couple spots. And then I found this gigantic patch of rust here, right where the floor pan meets the uh, pinch weld. So I chopped all that out. Now I gotta fix that. I was not expecting to have to do this. So all the times that I said, this is the rustiest part of the car, I was lying. This was the rustiest part of the car. And even then it might not be. But I have all the carpet pulled out so I can see the entire floor. And luckily there's no rust on that side. But there's a shitload on this side. So that's gonna get fixed up right away here. So I got this repair piece welded in here. Um, I pretty much made a whole new rocker panel that extends to the floorboards here. And then once I did that, I went ahead and cut out all the remaining rust on the driver's side of the vehicle. And it's fucked. That's my foot. So pretty much starting from about there where the floor pan joins the side of the car was completely rusted out all the way up, inner fender, like to that um, strut brace back there, which is not good. And I cut all that out, and as well the hole in the front under where the pedals go. And yeah, it's gonna be a lot of work getting that welded back together. But for me, it's gonna be a couple weeks of work. Luckily for you, it's gonna be about a 30 second welding montage. just a quick update on what's going on here. Effectively what I'm fixing right now is that the corner of the cab where the rocker panel, the floor pan, and the inner fender meet was completely gone, gone. So right now I'm working on replacing all that metal. So I've replaced the rocker panel <laughs> to the best of my ability. Obviously it's not the factory shape, but it's, you know, it's there. It'll hold up, it's solid. I've got pretty much the, mo the rest of the floor pan done. That's what that is. Uh, there's a piece that does need to go there, but I intentionally haven't put that one in yet, so that later I can, uh, I'm gonna need to be able to get through there to weld some other stuff together. And I'm almost ready to start doing the inner fender. So what I'm doing right now is the same thing I did on the other side where I wasn't happy with this little box area on the rear of the car. I thought I was happy with it. 
uh, but I dug in and there was some rust and it wasn't that great and it's it's really easy to fix these back up the way I do it so I just built a new back piece built a new bottom piece same thing as last time cut that off so I had some room to work welded it back on so that's pretty much done I have a bit more to weld on that and then once I do that, I can get back to uh, building the inner fender, which is coming together very nicely. So I just noticed that the paint right here is really bad and chipping off like crazy. So I'm going to dig into it a bit with a flathead screwdriver and see what happens. I don't know what the fuck this is. I would love to ask a previous owner of this car what the fuck happened to it. Because all of the paint on this fender, like every layer of paint is flaking off. Straight down to the bare metal. Just, just with a screwdriver, which is so weird. I don't know why it's doing that. But it's really no sweat off my back. The paint's gonna have to get removed from this anyways when I paint it, so I don't really care. It's just interesting. I don't, I don't know what the people who own this car before me fucking did to it. Cause this entire, I already replaced, there's already a bunch of rust here that got cut out and very poorly replaced by me. Um, and over top of that rust was Bondo and then over top of that Bondo was this same paint. So. It's like this car got sideswiped or something, and then they left it for a long time without fixing it, so the scratches from the sideswipe started to rust. And then they were like, oh, what do we do? I don't know, fucking paint over it, I guess. But, I mean, obviously I don't care, because I'm hacking this car to pieces anyways. It's just funny to do a bit of archaeology and be like, what the fuck happened to this car? But, uh... Yeah, there's a bit of surface rust under here, but it comes off with my thumb, so I'm not worried about that. And I fucked up the floor. Now there's paint chips everywhere. But whatever. Back to uh, back to work, I guess. So I got this entire inner inner fender area welded up, and now uh, my task before I can put the inner fender weld in is to clean up all these welds because they are quite buggery, and then patch up any pinholes I find so it's nice and sealed, and then keep on going with the welding. Can't you hear we're roasting bread? Can't you hear we're bread over here? Fuck. Or if you're building a skyline and just have infinite money because you're building a skyline. When they come on, it'll be like, and it'll be fans, extra cool. Show your faces. My turn to talk. 30 cents. 
Everybody shut up, I have to film. Okay. Quiet on set! Are you just gonna sit there in the background the whole time? With your beer and your vape? Thickest, thickest. Okay. Well, it's not gonna be inconspicuous because I'm gonna put in the part where I ask you that. That's fine. Yeah. But, I did all the welding on the inside of my car. I got my floor pads welded up, the side welded up, the inner fender welded up. Uh, it's still pretty rough, it has to be cleaned up. I got a big hole patched at the front. Uh, yeah, my welds look like shit, but it's all very, very solid. This car is not in danger of falling apart like it was when I started this. What I also did, which I can't remember if I filmed, is I got the inner fender welded in and clean up the welds, so that's pretty solid. And now what I have to do is, I need a light. Yep. I got a big ass hole in my frame rail that I have to patch up. And it's going to be a pain in my ass, but it has to get done, otherwise my car will snap in half. Just as much fun, but zero is a negative. Oh my god. Built Ford tough. Uh, so this is the piece of frame rail I just cut out. It's... Did you have it? Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> what? what are you going? So this is the old piece of frame rail. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> the next one better fucking kill you, Brett. So this is the old frame rail. It's got a gigantic hole in it. It's a big old hole. It's a big old hole. Uh, so I'm gonna remake that out of this thick steel. How thick is that? Or maybe thinner steel, because this is very thick, but. <laughs> how, uh, how thick can you say that is? Uh, thick as fuck. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> uh, but I am gonna remake this, and then I'm gonna weld a new piece on the car, and then the car won't uh, have a big hole in the frame rail, and then it'll be dope. <laughs> so Brennan found me better metal, so I'm gonna use this. I don't know what width it is, but it's closer to the width of this, and it's not. It's, uh, oh, yeah. it's that thick. It's approximately that thick. Yeah. So yeah. What uh, what are you about to do here, Jeff? I'm gonna cut that with that. The plasma cutter. Super spikes. It's matching on Bumble. Yeah, I changed it. Oh, Tyler. Left to right. Hiking partner. Intelligence is sexy. I'm not intelligent, though, and I don't like hiking. <laughs> That's the You're end a perfect video. match, bro. <laughs> Tyler, what are the odds you could find me like a Sharpie? Uh, pretty high. Pretty high. Why am I still wearing fucking plasma cutting gloves? Oh, this is this. so inconvenient. <laughs> Turns out making a perfect rectangle was a poor choice because the piece yes. I cut off wasn't a perfect rectangle. So I got the frame rail patch in. Uh, it's not beautiful, but it is solid. I smacked it with a hammer a few times. It's not going anywhere. And now the one last thing I have to weld. I'm so close to being done welding on this shit heap. I just have to fill these reflector holes. And then I'm fucking done welding until I find more rust, which will probably be tomorrow. I am finally done welding. After so much welding, I cut effectively the entire body of this car off and welded it back on. I can finally move on to something else. There is some minor tiny little stuff I gotta do. A couple welds need to be ground down and cleaned up. 
That can wait. I don't give a shit. But now I can actually start doing mechanical stuff and like stylistic stuff. I've been just accruing parts over the last couple months that I can't do anything with because there's no point in putting parts on a car that has gigantic rust holes in it. Now this car has no gigantic rust holes in it. It does have huge booger welded patch panels all over it, but uh, I don't give a shit because they're all going to be under a body kit or carpet or something. None of this is going to be visible to the human eye unless you're laying under my car. For whatever reason, don't do that. Don't lay under my car. And it's like Darth Vader. Darth Vader looks fucking weird with his helmet off. Then he puts his helmet on and he's Darth Vader and he's awesome. And uh, I could paint this car black and call it Darth Vader, but that's about the stupidest goddamn thing you could do to a car, so I'm not going to do that. But anyways, Stay tuned for next time. I got some fresh parts. I gotta do a lot of engine work. I gotta do a lot of body work. But finally, the nightmare that was chassis rust fixing has come to an end. <laughs>